for the port air guys believe it or not so i'm probably not going to be able to uh, turn on turn order here we will just go with the ghost but um i found a uh, concho 12 he was in a live stream earlier i have added him to the round so we do have three ghost balls guys and we will um, go for the closest to the pin challenge but we'll just have to look at it via the ghost ball we're not going to able turn order on guys and hopefully that way we don't get an error report which um kills the stream kills the video as well um yeah yeah blue screen jack so guys we're just gonna go ahead with this we've got three ghost balls we've got jerry sire who's actually in the the, the live chat at the moment and concho um, who was previously in the the previous stream and uh, he seems new to the channel so we've added him as well these guys have all posted good scores we are all playing on pin position number one and all off the black tees which are playing 1467 yards yeah can't wait for it uh, jack hopefully these things are to a minimum at least bud so let's begin round guys i have seen the first hole i failed to hit the green i just came up short so that could well be an advantage to me here, knowing that I have played the first first hole. It is absolutely roasting here, guys, in, in Scotland at the moment. It's currently about 24 degrees, but it's very cloudy and humid. And uh, I am absolutely sweating here playing this. I do have a fan that I would want to put on, but the, the headset would pick up the, the audio. But welcome back to the, the live stream, guys. I do apologize about the, the blue screen report there. It is totally out with my hands. So this course is by Sam, guys. and um, We have featured a few of his courses on the channel before. And he does go on to say that with a choice of three tees and four pin sets, this Delta Theme Par 27 course offers a quick-fire, frolicking, fun-filled, vary test of your shorter club's game, centered around a painstakingly crafted multi-step waterfall system. The highly detailed plot has many stunning views and features to enjoy whilst battling against moderate elevation changes and the firm settings, which are the course's key defenses. So, let's see if we can... <laughs> yeah, we do, mate. It has cost you the first hole, but so kind of similar wins. It's I had a wind that was more to the left this time. So Jack is on the green, probably about twelve to thirteen feet away. Concho has done exactly what I done previously. So it's playing one five four. With that wind, I'm just gonna reset that. Just gonna take a touch off of this and see if we can go right at the pin here. That is a good strike. Really hitting the ball cleanly just now. It's my uh, tempo that's way off. Oh, this could be a Bobby Dazzler. Sit down and look at that there, guys. I do manage to uh, get closest to the pin there. So if someone in the live chat wants to keep score off the, the closest to the pins, that's me one up. And that was all beautiful putts there from uh, Jack. I think console hit the flag and it didn't drop. Jerry just came up short. So there is going to be a slight turn in this putt. And I do manage to drain that forward to birdie. <laughs> Jack saying he's robbed there. I Like I say, guys, I did have slight advantage there because I learnt from my mistake. So we are one under. And I do win the first hole, being closest to the pin through, through default. Hey, Matthew, how's it going, bud? Welcome to the stream, bud. I'm good, thanks. Hope you're well. I really hope you're well, mate. And thanks to everyone who's stopping by the the live stream again, guys. It's it's really appreciated. So really nice looking course, this guys. So a lot of that I'm gonna say that is playing one eight one seven seven, but with this one behind me, wow. One seven seven. I could probably go down to the definitely go down to the seven iron here there is it does look like there's a slope here that if we are long it will take my ball back so let's go with that great strike once again so I'm relying on this slope here to take us back come on let's come back come back 
think this is going to be close. I don't think I'm the closest on this occasion. Um, Jerry won that one. Wow, Jerry was three feet. It looked like Jerry won that one there, guys. It looked like he was three feet away from the flag. And Jerry drains that. Sire's on fire with back-to-back -back birdies. I've got to make this one to stay with him. So we do have a downhill putt. Three inches downhill, 12 feet. It is turning to the right. Come on, ball. Turn, turn. And it does turn. And I do manage to keep up with Sire there. And I do manage to pick up the birdie. So I think it's one point to me, one point to Jerry. It did look like Jerry was the closest there. Okay. But great to see you guys having conversations in the chat. That's what this channel is all about. It's to uh, plug this fantastic game, guys, which I've really enjoyed. And uh, also, it's a huge community channel for, for like-minded people like us to... Uh, Talk about the golf game and anything in general. So why were these wins? And he's that looks like more than three feet down. That looks a lot more than three feet down. That's uh, wow. That's kind of confused me. This one. So I've got a goal, it guys. I'm going to say it's playing one six three with that wind. I don't know. These winds are so so hard to to tell if they're going to carry it. The green did look like... Hey, David, no, it's cool, mate. It's just I prefer myself to be in the, the chat myself, mate, when I'm live streaming, bud. But thanks for the invite, David. Um, I did get a blue screen early, earlier, bud, previous to, the, to this stream here. So I'm actually just going to take a tiny bit off of this, guys. Oh, and I've put a slow fast... I could be in the water here. That was really laggy there, though, guys. And there is the step waterfall, man. That is beautiful. I missed that in the flyby. So, I don't think anyone hit the... I don't think anyone hit the green there, guys. Wow. That was a real laggy backswing there, guys. I'm not sure if it's because I've got a lot of ghosts playing here, but it does seem really laggy. Huge stutter there. 22 yards. It's going to have to be the flop shot, I imagine. Man, I, what is going on with this controller of mine, guys? Getting so many disconnections. We are going to flop this here, guys. It is playing 25 feet. And the game is really laggy at the moment, guys. I can't explain this. I'm getting a lot of stuttering at the moment here with these ghosts being enabled. I shouldn't spin back. It didn't. Decent a shot there. I've just got this to save par. This one to save par. All the rest of the guys are in for par. So amazing that no one hit green there, to be fair. I do manage to drop that on the edge. And that'll keep you do you know what? Yeah, I did, Jack. Um, thanks very much for the message, bud. But it, it's not seemed to to help out at all really i mean this is a relatively new controller so so god knows yeah still no news yet matthew um still no news everyone's sitting on the edge of their seats waiting for for something official so hole four is a par three and it is playing 93 yards wow really short shot so let's see it's jack is closest there wow look at that approach shot from jack so i've basically got to get this inside one feet to uh, take this. It's currently one to me. I've won one point on first hole. Jerry won it and no one hit the, the previous green. So 96 yards up 20 feet. feet. I've got to add on 8 yards for that there guys. So 104. But with this wind and that slope. Wow. That is some shot from Sire. I'm just lofting. I'm not lofting this up at all actually. I'm not. I'm just going right at it here. That was a far better swing. Heading for the this should spin back. Come on, sit. Oh, didn't get as much spin as I would have liked, and I think Jack has maybe just took that one there. Five footer here, nothing too bad. So, Jack did take that one, I would say. 
And the only thing we'll add on these ghost guys is the little labels. I have done that, so they're meant to drift away. I do manage to pick up the birdie there, though, guys. Yeah, that is a fantastic shot, mate. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Matthew. I mean, I really can't wait till we do get some um, official um, news. Wait a minute, Jack. You only parred that. I thought... I may be one closest to the pin there then, guys. You know what? It's so, so hard to play this challenge without turn order on to see the guy's yardage because that's weird. Jack must have played two shots prior to that. Oh, you, what? You missed that putt? Wow, man. Wow. How on earth did you miss that? So... Wow, with these wind conditions here, guys. But I tell you what, this is a really good course. I actually really, really enjoying it. It really puts your game to the test here. So as we can confirm, that green is breaking both ways. When we hit it, it's going to hit the right. But then when we get up closer to the pin, it's breaking to the left. And with this wind, I feel I've got to go down to the five iron. I'm going to loft this up a touch. Five iron it is. Far better swing tempo this time. I'm just relying on this really kicking on from here and working its way down this firm green. Keep going. Keep going. Should find the slope here. No, I think once again Jack takes it. He's seven feet away. But th this is really confusing because it's saying that Jack's on his third stroke here. So I do apologize, guys. It's so, so hard with a turn order off. And the reason I've got it off is because I was I got an error report previously. Very, very strange. So it is breaking both ways here. Breaking left. To start out with. And then to the right. I'm just going to favor the right edge here. Roll this down. It is four inches down. Should start to turn back. Is it going to turn enough? Oh, it does. That's a beautiful putt. That is a beautiful putt. Four under to the round. <laughs> Yay, hot and cold, man. Yeah, that's definitely your one there, bud. A definitely your one there. So, I am up to four under. I think Jack is two under. Um, Jerry was one under, and I think um, Control 12 was level par. Yeah. So, hole number six is playing 179 yards. Up two feet. With this wind again, I do, I'm confident that I could club down two to seven iron. Just de-loft it a touch, guys. And what we're going to do here, Sire is in the bunker. Jerry's in the bunker on the left and console's just short. What I'm going to do here is apply some draw here to try and counteract this wind. Really good clean strike again. That wind is holding for me. This should be good if it bounces past the slope. Get up. Fantastic approach shot there. Really, really good approach shot there. Matthew Brick drained it. What a putt. It could well be, David, yeah. I mean, every time I seem to put turn order on, though, I do seem to get uh, these these error reports, unfortunately, mate. So, at least we're showcasing a few of the subscribers, and the most important thing is the game and this beautiful course. So, I do have a putt here. It's going to turn slightly to the right. I'm not sure what the global course record is here, actually, to be fair. I think it's six under, someone said on the PC. It does turn for me, and I do manage to drop that for another birdie to get to five under par. So, Jack got his par there, Jerry got his par, and Concho got his par to remain level par, guys. 
So, hole number seven is a par three, playing 166 yards. What a beautiful looking hole this one is, guys. Really nice uh, course here from Sam, really enjoying it. Oh, it's a, a tricky looking green there, and with these wind conditions, pardon me, this is going to be a really tough approach shot. It's going to be so, so hard to get close to this pin. I am going to say it's playing 164, but with this wind against me, I am going to deal off this seven iron and see if we can get this close to the pin guys it's going to be so hard once again a really straight strike i'm really hitting the ball cleanly tonight that wind took me around more than i anticipated it to guys we're just on the fringe i think everyone oh no jerry jerry was on the green and the two boys have chipped in why two fantastic chipping shots there from jack and Concho, which means they get birdies there. Yeah, I really hope it does, David. I mean, multiplayer is what everyone's wanting to really work in this game. Like I said in my previous video, that is the main thing. That is what we all want to work, is the multiplayer, not get constant error reports. Oh, wow, just didn't have the legs there, man. I lofted that up just a bit too much. And that is just a par for me, unfortunately. Yeah, no blue screens would be a massive, massive uh, step in the right direction, guys. So, Sire is now three under. Jerry is two under. Conchi is one under. And I am four under, I think. Or is it five under? So hole eight is a par three, playing 201 yards, but beautiful light in there coming off the the water there. Great reflection. So 203 yards, down 13, 10 mile per hour wind. Oh, but why? You seen how laggy this is, guys? Game is really stuttering for me. Really disappointing. It's doing that with these ghosts added. It's going to take a touch off of this. This should be close, you know. Look at Conchie's approach shot. Come on, it should turn towards the whole list. Sit down. That is a fantastic shot. Wow, if Conchie is as close as that was approach shot, wow. Unbelievable. He was. What a shot from Concho 12. Unbelievable. I do have this putt, though. It's going to take me to six under par. I do believe the current course record is six under par, guys. So I'm currently matching that. And I think that was done on the PC. So if I can birdie the ninth, it will mean it. To my knowledge, it's another course where I hold the global record. So hole nine is a par three, playing 125 yards. There is that step waterfall, man, and it is beautiful. Really is nice. Yeah, I play. I do play some other games, guys, but this is my main game. At the moment, on the side, I just bought um, Ellie Noir Remastered. And I am playing that in the rare spare time that I do have. I play the odd game of FIFA. I used to play Battlefield 4 a hell of a lot. Um, and some games like that, guys. But um, for the meantime, this, this is my go-to game, guys. As will the Golf Club 2019 be. Uh, thanks, Matthew. Second coming, I think, lead it up. Clearly, it's struck. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on here, mate. I mean, I'm really... The game's really stuttering for me, guys. It does feel laggy. So, final hole, 138 yards up 22 feet. I'm going to add on 7 yards for that, guys. So, we are going to say it's playing 145 into the window. And I don't want to be short of that where Jack is. I want to try and get past that. So, if anything, I would rather be long here. So I am taking off a good bit here. And we're going to try and fire this right at the flag. Really hit the ball straight tonight. 
sit down. Uh, it's quite a good approach shot there, guys. I mean, I've got a lot to take into account here. The, the wind and the elevation changes. Oh! So, to my knowledge, this part of it drops will give me the global course record in this, which would be another course where I will hold this. Hey, Martin, bud. Welcome back to the stream. I just wish that that ghost ball would disappear for me. Concho's label. I I'm sure. I'm sure I turned that to off. Let me check my settings here, guys. I'm sure I turned where the the little labels would disappear. Play. For the life of me, I can't recall where it is. Social, maybe? I do fade. Page one. Page one and what? Hey, Steel Beam, welcome back, bud. Is it gameplay page one? Green grid on, shot suggestion, putting marker. Is it that? I'm not sure, guys. I can't find it. We'll just try and make this putt. Um, display and HUD. All right. Okay. Hold on. Display and HUD. Ball labels. Oh, yeah. There we go. Fade. I did have all that set and saved. So there we go. Cheers, Jack. Thanks very much, mate. So let's see if we can drop this putt here, guys. My putting has improved of late. Ah, and we do manage to drain that, and I'm sure that has put me as the global course record holder. It does say in the forums that six under was the best score prior to my round on the PC, so... And um, there we go, guys. That is Duke's Folly, nine hole par three. I do apologize about the error report. I do apologize about not being able to see who was truly closest to the pin. But that is it for this evening, I do feel. Thanks to everyone who hung out in the live stream. Once again, guys, I really appreciate it. It is great to be able to live stream and just catch up with you guys. That is going to get a five star for me. That is a fantastic par three course. Get out there and play it, guys. And um, like I say, I think that's another course where I've got the global course record. I swung really, really straight there for some reason. Uh, straighter than normal. But that is it. Thanks to everyone who hung out in the live stream. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I love you all. Cheers. Bye.